Hello YouTube! Hey guys, it's Fletch. Welcome to the Big Sky Tactical Channel here at Big Sky Country. Welcome back to my reloading table again. Hey, today guys, we're going to be looking at uh, a, a very nice and inexpensive uh, flashlight mount. This is the uh, Aim Sports 1 inch tactical light mount. <clears throat> and if you guys have been watching my channel and you've seen my older videos, you'll know that I had this uh, mounted on the bottom Picatinny of my IO AK-47. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, I had it on there for a lot of videos and <laughs> got PMs from guys going, uh, you know, that blue flashlight really looks stupid on your black gun. Yeah, I know. And as I pointed out in almost every video, it was just for product testing. But <clears throat> again, uh, this is the AIM Sports, and they're not always labeled on there, but uh, if you go to aimsportsinc.com, AIM Sports, you know, Inc. as in uh, India, Nora, Charles, aimsportsinc.com, you'll see this exact same model on there. They, they make it, other people sell it, and they might put their name on it, but if it's this design, it's their product. Um, the, the design of this is, is made so that if <clears throat> you are wanting to mount this on a rail that it sticks out around the edge. So if you had like a forward grip on it and it was up here, that this would stick out beyond it to the side. Uh, if, if you uh, haven't watched my um, video series for these uh, AIM for these AIM <clears throat> uh, tack lights, weapon tack lights, go back and take a look at that and uh, you'll see the advantages and disadvantages to having lights mounted on the side of your weapon but <clears throat> so you know I'm not really sure if if this is something that I would necessarily recommend <clears throat> because of that um, you can't it, it does have some advantages and disadvantages uh, you can mount it in just about any position because <clears throat> this is not a quick release design it's a clamp and you just clamp it on there and you turn it and then on the side here you'll see this little hole and you can put a cotter key, uh, allen wrench in there rather an allen wrench and turn it and it'll get nice and tight on there. Uh, <clears throat> like I said earlier, I've had uh, this mounted on the AK, uh, I don't know, for maybe nine months, something like that. Probably fired in that time around 700 rounds through it. Never came loose. Uh, actually, if you watch some of my shooting videos, uh, I would actually hold on to that because it made a fairly decent handle, <clears throat> uh, like shooting during the day and never came loose, never had any issues with it. Uh, one thing that I thought was uh, pretty decent, so to speak, of the manufacturer on this is that <clears throat> when I bought this inside the case, there was a little two by two note that said, um, with repeated use, that there's a possibility that these four mounting screws could back out. And once you get the flashlight that you're going to keep in there and that you know you know you like it and it works well for you you're going to want to put some blue loctite on there well because i was doing testing on the product i never put any blue loctite on there and like i said i've had it on there for about nine months uh, maybe about 700 rounds something like that and it never came loose it it's been rock solid the whole time and like i said uh, a lot of times when i'm shooting i would actually use that as you know somewhat of a forward grip on on the weapon so <clears throat> uh, let's take a little bit closer look at it let me zoom the camera back out so that it will focus properly up close here <clears throat> all right so here is the and this is just a standard el cheapo you know nine led flashlight and as you can see right here the way that this, um, the barrel of that, the screw that's on there, 
That is what is designed to go inside the grooves on, the, on your Picatinny. So if you're going to mount that, it does need to be some type of a Picatinny <clears throat> that has grooves in it so that you can mount on there. Most all of them do nowadays that you find out there. Um, because I have an IO AK-47 and I use the stock because I use the stock um, Picatinny side mount rails that they provide, it doesn't have the grooves uh, naturally in there. So just something to be aware of. And like I said, this is designed so that like if you had a forward grip positioned in front of this, that your light would be out to the side of it. Now the issue is going to be that you're going to have good light over here on the left hand side of your of your weapon if it's mounted like this on the front of the weapon but you're going to lose vision over here on the right hand side especially in your peripheral vision so just something to keep in mind if you do something like this you may be better off if you're going to mount it on the side or rather than mounting it on the bottom flip it up like this and mount it on the side so that <clears throat> the light itself is closer to center access on your weapon and uh, here, we'll, I'll show you real quick what it would look like, what I'm talking about. <clears throat> so if you mounted it like that, and let me get this in view of the camera. Like this, you're at least closer to center on it than you would be if you had it mounted on the bottom, closer to the center access on the weapon. And yes, all you safety sallies out there, this is a clear weapon. It's been checked, so relax. So again, it, it's closer to the center on there. And as you can see, like here is the second light that I have mounted on my AK-47. You can see that with this, it is a little bit closer to the center line on the weapon. <clears throat> and then if you had it mounted on the bottom, the bottom Picatinny rail right there, that it's going to be sticking out quite a ways on the side. So <clears throat> as far as you know, the, the quality of the item, I don't have any problems with it at all. Uh, it seems to be really you know, well made, very durable, anodized aluminum, it's lightweight. <clears throat> but because of the design of it, uh, I don't really know if it's something that I would want to go with myself personally. Just because, like I said, uh, you know, the, the benefit is that, like if you had a forward grip on there, that the light, you know, goes out around it. But then again, you're putting your light on one side of the weapon or the other, rather than you know just having something like <clears throat> something like this just mounted you know right on the bottom of your picatinny and then you're going to get decent <clears throat> peripheral you know on either side so just something to keep in mind but like i was saying the the design of it is is not necessarily to my liking however the durability and the quality of this product is very good no complaints there whatsoever. You know, the screws ha have never loosened, I, and I did not lock, lock tight them. I specifically did not. Did not. And, uh, you know, it works good. Just a simple compression fit on there. And like I said, you do need a slot uh, or groove in your Picatinny rail mount. All right, guys. Well, that is the AIM Sports 1-inch um, <clears throat> kind of you know one size fits all tactical flashlight Picatinny mount from AIM Sports. If you have any questions feel free to post it below. Thanks for watching I greatly appreciate it. God bless.